What's up, Titans? Today is November 20th. Whoa. Happy New Year, Titans. Long time no see. My name is Gavin Christie. And my name is Prasanna Benlow. Today is January 29th, 2024, and this is the first Titan TV show of the year. We start today with the homey, first of a kind performance by the theater and choir departments in this year's musical. Here's Madison with the scoop on this harmonious production. From onstage to backstage, the theater department has dedicated the last couple months towards May We All the Musical, from catchy country music to outstanding performances from each one of the cast members. This show has probably some of the most kind, sweet-hearted, supportive people I have ever had the pleasure of working with. And I just feel like I belong so much in this production. And I think I have that entirely to attribute to Miss Garrett and Mr. Moore and every single one of my cast members. They're just so wonderful. And Titan Theater really is something that makes me feel at home. Being the first North Texas high school to perform this musical is taking a big risk, but in the end, it all paid off. It's a little scary, but also really exciting. It's scary because, you know, it's something new. Are people going to want to see it? Like, I, I don't have a reference for what I'm doing, but it's also really exciting because we get to bring an entirely new show that pretty much no one has seen to our Frisco audience. <laughs> My favorite memory, I have so many, but probably going backstage and doing our little Titan Theater pinky and bite my thumb at thee before the show. It just makes all of my anxiety melt away and I love it. Speaking of favorites, let's switch to a director's perspective. Oh, my favorite scene and song like changes every day because um, sometimes it, with live theater, sometimes things hit differently on certain days and whatnot. And so um, when I first got the show, one of my favorite songs was Born to Fly, but then that changed into... <laughs> Now, right now, my current fave is... I don't want to be your one man so I'm like always singing one man band. Um, but my favorite scene, I just love watching the um, church scene when they're singing same boat. Um, it's just so much fun and just seeing um, that whole ensemble um, work together is exciting. One thing I think that everybody should just know about this show is that it's an, unlike a normal musical in a sense of that it is a jukebox musical. So this is all music that you know. You will come to this show and you will hear a song and you'll be like, I know that song. Like everybody knows Dolly Parton's Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Again, amazing job to the cast members. I'm Madison Finney with Titan TV. Thanks, Madison. The theater department isn't the only exceptional program at the school. You know, the Titan soccer team is currently ranked first in the state. I didn't know that. That's really impressive. Rosanna here went down to the field to show you all why the soccer team is worth watching. Here's what he found out. Every great team has its ups and downs, and that's no different for the Centennial soccer team, who are already looking to learn from last year. We need to learn that we needed to be stronger. So specifically, we looked at the weight room routine and how we did our strength and conditioning and really thought, how can we make us stronger, more durable, more athletic, all of that. Currently sitting number one in Texas and off to an undefeated start, the Centennial soccer team has a unique, professional approach to high school soccer. You'll see some tactical differences that uh, not a whole lot of high school students uh, or high school players, teams around this area do. 
um, really modeling it off of that next level, uh, things that a lot of these players hope to aspire to be, um, trying to bring some of those things into our team. It's more than just tactical growth for this team, with the team making tremendous strides off the field as well. We started the season, um, I mean, the amount we've grown from when we started in August to where we are now is, I mean, we're like a two different team. Just in our mindset, our leadership, our work ethic, the way we take care of each other. I mean, it's been tremendous because they put the work in, they put a lot of work in. However, like every great team, it takes more than just a good set of players and great coaching, with the fans playing a big part in Centennial's success. I mean, we had more fans than Wakeland did, and that hearing them cheer for us, it made me so proud to be a Centennial Titan. Like, I just, I've never had that type of pride in a school, even the school I went to when I grew up, I didn't have that type of pride. With this being said, the soccer team is still looking to bring even more fans to the stands and make home and away nights that much more special. Soccer's a global game. It's called the beautiful game for a reason. It's the world's game for a reason. Having the student support to come out and brave the cold with us uh, and scream and yell when we do things well and to get us up when we might need some crowd help. Um, those are things that are, you know, we call them soft factors, but they don't go unnoticed. And so having them around makes the game all that better. The goal is to win state and expectations are high for the Centennial soccer team. But with last year's lessons, this team has never been more prepared to win it all. This has been Prasanna Bendlam with Titan TV. Thanks, Prasanna. You know, we're missing a Titan TV member. Really? Who? Matthew's missing on his Titan TV package. Oh, really? I never noticed. Where am I right now? The beach, the woods, Centennial High School? I'm actually in the Titan TV green room. And that's the magic of what we do here. So today, we're going to give you a little tour and a little display of what we do around here to maybe understand and get a greater appreciation of the work that goes into the media that you see. Titan TV is a class where we come together, we share our ideas, create what we want to create, and share the news um, to the rest of the school and to the rest of the community. I think we do it in a sense where we are our own community. We laugh a lot. But it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Just finding good ideas to brainstorm and uh, make packages about, I really, uh, I think it's kind of difficult just to do that. But no matter what happens, it always comes together in the end. Uh, and also, if, if you have people in here that you know or get acquainted with, uh, it becomes um, more fun and, you know, uh, not just fun, but also more, should I say, fruitful. And, and that was something I was I was looking for. And that's just a little piece of what we do here. I'm Matthew Carson with Titan TV, signing out. Thanks for that, Matthew. Glad you're back in the building. You know, while you were away, the school started a new point system recently where students can earn points and cash them in for various rewards. Let's hear more about this from Austin. CHS is starting a point system this year. These points can be rewarded via email to the parents and the students by all Centennial staff. These points can be awarded through practicing pride, which is purposeful, responsible, inclusive, diverse, and empathetic. These points can be exchanged for rewards, including removing tardies, gaining attendance hours, reserving lunch tables, and purchasing stuff through the school store. Teachers can also set their own rewards for the points they award. Now let's look at some potential ways that students can earn points. That's so disgusting. Maybe you should throw it away in the trash? Nah.
Remember, these are only some of the ways that you can earn points. There are many ways you can earn points, just make sure you are on your best behavior and implement pride. This is Asta Sharma for Tiny TV, signing off. Well Titans, we know you'll love that change. One thing that never changes is picking your classes for next year. Well, you have many opportunities at CHS to explore career path. The CTE Center offers more specific opportunities to explore unique fields before college. Hope decided to educate us about this with a few of those opportunities. Two thousand eight was a revolutionary year in North Texas education history. The CTE Center was built to provide opportunities to high school students with career-based classes. Taking these classes as young as fourteen, students eliminate stress, gain guidance to their future, and help industries that they are eager to work with. Um, I think CTE classes help. Um, students determine what their interests are um, and what they might want to do for their careers. These classes are taking multiple steps ahead in order for these students to be college ready, something that these teachers didn't get a chance to experience. I find these students uh, that are in these engineering classes, if they take three or four of our, of our courses, then when they get to college, they're, they're uh, motivated, they're engaged, they, they know that's where they want to be. Those industries, I mean, these kids come to them with a lot of experience, not just in, in college, but even in high school. So they go into colleges much more prepared than the typical college student, and then they leave with far more years experience. So that prepares them really almost as much as you could expect for a job in, in the industry, in the real world. The future can be scary, but with taking classes at CTE, we can assure that these students will be future ready. This has been Hope Elliott with Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Hope. You know, the CPE really offers me a lot of opportunities to be college ready. But what if I don't want to go to college? What if I just want to sit on my couch and play some video games? Well, us Titans have you covered. The esports class here at Centennial has been a great place to learn about the esports environment and community. Let's hear from Shonik with more details. As the age of gaming has advanced, many places have more opportunities for esports than ever. Now, with the school esports tournament coming soon, Mr. Robeson is, is this class teacher, introducing many titans to a road of success that is esports and the world of professional gaming. Uh, my name is Mr. Robison. I teach the Introduction to Esports class and the Esports 2 classes here. Esports is uh, technically esports is electronic sports, so it's uh, gaming or video game competition. So we learn about different aspects of esports, things that are related to esports, careers that are related, uh, different career paths that are now opening up in colleges that are related to that. What we're doing is trying to expose students to the opportunities that they have related to esports. Uh, for their future. We're trying to expose them to different things, graphic design, uh, event management, things that are related to esports, but doesn't necessarily have to be just the player. Um, many students find a place where they can belong. Uh, everybody has to find their niche, so it gives them an opportunity to, to fit in for one thing. We'll look at marketing, We'll look at shoutcasting. We'll, we'll introduce them to shoutcasting, the broadcasting side. They'll learn about putting video together to create design graphics, so things like that. This class has grown exponentially these past few years, and who knows where they are going next. This is Shonik from Titan TV. Thanks, Shonik. Esports definitely seems to be an end for the year. Indeed it does, but you know what's an out for this year already? The Cowboys. Actually, that's an out every January. Let's see some of your guys' ins and outs for the year. Take it away, Ava. Hi Titans, Happy New Year. My name's Ava Winters and I've seen a lot of discourse about the ins and outs for the new year. 
So I figured let's ask our Titans what their ins and outs are for 2024. Come on. Uh, one of my ends for 2024 is maybe to be like more productive. In pink, in cozy, in trying new things. More food in the cafeteria. Uh, normal, normalizing, uh, I, I, actually I don't even know, bro. Like, body positivity. Pasta. I think everybody needs to eat more pasta. It's amazing. Our out for 2024 is being embarrassed of everything because of ourselves. Because we want to be proud of ourselves. My out is making fun of people for the things they like. Those cones in the parking lot. I want them gone. My out is staying up really late to study and then failing the test the next day. My out is the Cowboys. They suck. Who cares? No stealing food and no drugs. My in is watching Titan TV and my out is not watching Titan TV. This has been Ava Winters with Titan TV. You really hate the Cowboys, huh? You know, hate's a strong word. Strongly dislike is much better. I pray for you. Well, Titans, welcome back to Titan TV. I'm Gavin Christie, and that's Persona Bendelin, and we'll see you in February.